Nice to see you once again. I welcome you all and I thank you so much. Thank you very much for the time that you always spend to spend in listening to my videos. God bless you very good. And uh, I believe each time you come across my video, you always pick something that bless your life. That always bring some good things to you. And I pray that the Lord will keep on strengthening me and helping me to always do more, to do more, because sometimes I don't really have time to come, come and don't have to make to make video. I don't really have time sometimes, but I think it's important for me to always make as I don't believe in doing for doing sake. I believe I wait when the Lord give me something to say, give me some some revelation or some deep things about life. So I try to create time to unveil it, unveil it for you know, for you to be a partaker for for you to be blessed through it. So I believe that the Lord will keep on strengthening and helping helping me and helping all of us to do the right, to do good things, to preach the gospel every time because this is part of the gospel that he wants us to preach to open the eyes of the people. That is, you know, you know, when Jesus is talking about opening the eyes of the blind, you know, you can be seen, but you are blind. When your spiritual eyes is darkened, when we are understanding, spiritual understanding is darkened, you need enlightenment. So you need someone to enlighten you. So I want to tell you something in this video. The power that the fake pastors all over the world, the power that the fake pastors all over the world is operating with, is all that I want to reveal to you in this video. Sit down and God bless you as you're listening to this. But always do me a favor, spread the video, let other people hear about it, you know. Help me to spread it, to share the video to other people to hear about what is going on or what God is saying. Okay, so I'm leaving now to you the power that the fake pastors all over the world is operating with. You remember that Bible said that the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is the eternal life through Christ Jesus. Now, I want to tell you something. We all we you know, all have sinned, obviously all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Before Jesus came, the highest power that is in control, that's in force, that is controlling the whole world, is dead spirit. Dead spirit. Because the Bible has said, said, Bible have said it, that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And also, the wages of sin is dead. So the devil said, okay, because they are drawn into sin. I have enticed them and saved them to sin. Now, they have to die. So everybody succumb to death. All of us are in hell, in shrewd. Jesus came to set us free from the groan, from the pain, from the agony of hell. People always think, or oh, maybe they die before they go to hell. Some people are alive, but they're already in hell. Their soul is already dragged, dragged in hell. When you are in the hand of a fake pastor, you can be living, but you are dead. So many people that are moving are dead, you know, they are ghosts. They will do, they are still moving on the face of death. They are dead spiritually. They are already dead and they are in grave. They are in shrewd already Why they are still moving. So, now, Jesus came. came he came to set me and, and you free. He, he died to destroy death. The only man, the, the first to die, and the, and, the, and 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 rose from death. The first to die and rose from death. The first to de destroy and to defeat death is Jesus Christ of, 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 of Nazareth, the righteous one. The first, the first and the last. Nobody ever, 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 ever did this. No, no, no. Nobody ever, ever repeated. So only him. He hold that title and he holds forever. So now, before, if Jesus gave His Spirit to you, He gives His Spirit to you. You have to also defeat anything. All the hellish power, he will give you victory over hell, over all the powers of hell, over every devil and demons, so that you can go out there to set men and women free and to give life to men. Because Jesus is a life giver. 
Jesus came to give life to me and you, not to give us death, that we are already dead in our trespasses. We are already dead in our sins. We are already in hell. So he came to die to transfer. Bible said he convey us from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light in the book of Colossians. So he transferred us when he died and rose and defeated death. He moved us from the kingdom of hell to the kingdom of heaven. Now your pastors, they call themselves. Jesus did not call them, did not anoint them. They said, you know, their selfishness, you know, the, the, the test for material, materialism, material things, the hunger for worldly things caused them to anoint themselves. And when they anoint themselves, they will begin to search for power by themselves. So, so many of fake pastors, because Jesus, one day he's praying, Jesus anoint me, just anoint me, just anoint me. But he's looking, he can't force him. He knows people that he he call, he wants to choose, he that he wants to anoint. You cannot get up and say, Jesus call me, Jesus call me or use me. No. So, so many self-called, self-called pastors, self-made man of God, they in the quest of getting for power, all of them, they can go beyond death. So whenever they reach that level, they succumb to death. Even Christ on the cross, before they will come and break his bone, he did not succumb to death. He did not succumb. He gave up the ghost. He did not succumb to show you what he is about to do. That death have no, have no power over him. But your pastor, in the quest and in the search of power, when they get to hell, they bow to hell. They succumb to death. They succumb to hell. So the power that your pastors are operating with is death spirit. Their end station is death. So when they get there, death will tell them, I have enough power. To we, the highest power that is threatening and controlling the whole world is death, is death spirit. But only one spirit is above death. The power of Jesus Christ, the righteous one. The one who died and rose from death. So, Jesus' power is you know, you know, supersede death spirit. So, if you are not in Christ Jesus, if you don't have his spirit, that person succumb to death. If you are talking about the pastors, as they are in sort of power, because they don't want to wait for Jesus or to be ordinary member, because not all of them, not every Jesus cannot call everybody. Some 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 is called to be a preacher, some is called to be evangelist, some is called to be a pastor, some is called to be a member, some is called to be an usher, some is called to be a, 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 a keeper in the house of God, some are called to be just a king, a, 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 a chair, instead of chair, you know, because every everybody can be called by Jesus to be a preacher the way we are seeing it today in the world. Everybody say, God called me, God called me. That's because of their selfish interest to milk the poor and the needy, to excite their wickedness. Because Jesus will start your heart to know what is your motive of telling me to call you? What is the most motive of, of you uh, 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 searching for my power? Do you know the pain I passed through to redeem man? He will look at you, look at your motive. Look, if I give this spirit, will you use it and the Continue doing what I did here on earth in love, or do you want to use it to enrich yourself? So now your pastors are operating with death spirit, they succumb to death. Death will tell them, Okay, I can give you the power, you can go and be doing signs and wonders, you can go and the uh, because it's a very powerful force, a very powerful spirit. Death spirit is a very powerful spirit. So, but the only power that's up, that is superior, that is so more, that's all powerful, is the power of Jesus, the righteous one. So, your pastors, they all succumb to death. They are working for death. That is the reason you see all manner of evil in the whole world, in the life of the preachers, because they are working for hell. They are working for death. If you want to know your pastor, Pray against that spirit that is operating with. Call his name. Go on your knees. Call his name. And 
and command death spirit. Say, use death spirit that my this, this pastor is operating with. If you hit it, it will it will show. Say, I set myself free from the death spirit. You know, the, from, you know, from the death spirit of the fake pastors, death spirit. You will see what will happen. You will see what will happen. Death spirit is what the fake pastors all over the world is operating with. Death. Death spirit. Death spirit. And that is the that is why they are discharging death everywhere. Death everywhere. Death. Immorality. Evil everywhere. Death spirit. But the spirit of Jesus is a holy spirit. It's a righteous spirit. It's a spirit of life. So if your pastor is operating with the spirit of life, the spirit of righteousness, there will be no room for evil and wickedness in this earth. I, I comforted one, one man in Nigeria that is always preaching. I comforted him. One day, I told, I'm going to tell him that you are not a pastor, a man of God. That you are not you are the agent of darkness. So, in the, he challenged, which I challenged him openly. So later, the man told me something. I, he said that majority of the pastors in Nigeria they, that they, they they do visit graveyard. This is what the man said to me because I comforted him one on one. He said that they visit graveyard and I asked him to do what? What are they going to graveyard to do? He said that they are going for to search for unfinished tax. Unfinished tax. I said, can I hear you clearly? Make it known to me, please. I'm, 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 all, all my body is all ear. I just want to hear. He said that, that the case of Elisha, that Elisha died and they buried him. And that person also died. And the bed person, the, the bone of Elisha touched that person, and that person received life and came back to life. I, I shouted. I said, "What a demonic revelation!" He said that they are going. That some people that died before their time, they are going to go and take their power from them. That this is the reason they are all visiting graveyards. That many pastors like him. That they are, they are visiting graveyard in search of unfinished unfinished tasks. The people that died that died premature. Can you see what's going on? If you want to know your pastor, pray against call his name. Pray against that spirit. He will show. You will you will say, you will see very clear. Pray against what they are spreading over all of you in that Nigeria, all over the world. All the fake pastors in America. There are many in America. Uh, 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 in, in, in Asia, in Europe, all African countries, all in, in, in the, all, all the all, so far as long as they are fake, all that they all they, all of them they succumb to death. They are, up, are working with death spirit, and they are spreading. They are, they are just spreading death, you know, releasing death spirit, you know, everywhere to the people. If you pray against death spirit, you will marvel for what you will see. The thief cometh in order to steal, to kill and to destroy. But I have come, I have come that they may have life and have it more abundantly. Jesus came to give us life and life in abundance, not death that we are held before. So this is where your pastor is going and they succumb to death and they are working for death, for death, for death. Because it's a very powerful spirit, very powerful spirit. But the spirit of Jesus, the spirit of righteousness, the spirit of truth is all powerful. See, anywhere, anywhere a true man of God that is carrying the spirit of Jesus, carrying God's spirit, carrying the spirit of Jesus. If I stand in Nigeria to preach, come on, I don't. If I stand to preach in Nigeria or in Ghana or in America, after the meeting, then you you will be marvel what you will see what you will see happening you will know that there is atomic power in the precious blood of Jesus God bless you the Lord our God is all powerful 
it's time for all the debt for dead spirits to go back to Shreve to meet this end. For this purpose, the Son of Man was made manifest that he might destroy the works of the devil. It's time for all the works of the devil in your life, in your family, in your in, 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 in your states, in your nation, in the whole world. It's time for the works of the devil to be totally destroyed and forged down to the pit of hell. Amen. Bless. Go ahead. Pray as I said. Pray against the spirit. Command the, 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 the hold of the spirit in your life, in your family, to lose, to leave, to leave you, to leave your family and say, let there be light. Let there be light. Pray and you will see your pastor. You will know whom your pastor is. You will know that he's a masculine. <laughs> Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I love you guys. I love you, my people, so much. I love you, I love you, and can't stop loving you. I am out every time to love you, to show you love. I can't stop loving you because Jesus loved me and you. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus, that who, whosoever believed in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. I can't stop loving you because Jesus loves you more.